you looking for a getaway? Maybe a ticket to escape and get some cotton candy. I'll have two, please. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hi there, I'm John McIntyre, and I want you to close your eyes and imagine a day of good old family fun. Hi, this is Dave Kozak here. I'm imagining it, and it imagines good. Of course it does, because there's only one place that comes to mind when you want the sights. The sounds. The smells. The secrets. That's right, and the place we're talking about is the, the Dark, Dark Moon Fair! Es la luna negra. Creerás que estás soñando, volando en una atracción. No habrá un monstruo planeando echarte una maldición. Sombras bailan sin parar. Did that say madness? At the Dark Moon Fair. That's right, Dave. Hearthstone's next expansion is taking us to Azeroth's biggest magical carnival. It's the only place that comes to mind when you want the sights. The sounds. Okay, no, wait, but wait, hold on a second. That that video was like a little bit creepy. Is, is, is everything okay? It's better than okay. It's alarming. That doesn't mean good. Look, Dave, everyone's having fun playing the different Dark Moon Fair games. Like this one, where you guess the weight, draw a card, and guess the cost of your next card for a chance to draw it too. Huh, well I do like drawing cards, and I like guessing things. Well you won't have to guess if you visit the new priest minion, Fortune Telling. Gain plus one plus one for each spell in your hand. Hey, you know, priests are usually sitting on some big spells. That looks like a good time. And it's all thanks to Darkmoon Fair's fearless leader, the top man in the big top, Silas Darkmoon. Oh, wait, wait, choose a direction and rotate all minions? That's crazy, that's like a, a minion go round. Round and round it goes. But the real trick here is all minions rotate, including Silas himself. So you need to figure out what minion you're taking from your opponent, but also what you're giving them too. Now see, that's the good wholesome family fun I was looking for. If you're looking for wholesome fun, visit the Darkmoon Fair Petting Zoo where you'll find this cuddly guy, Fleet Hoof Pearl Tusk. Uh, uh, John? Yeah, Dave. What, 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 is this, what does it mean here when it says corrupt? Oh, that's our new keyword coming with Madness at the Darkmoon Fair. They say power corrupts, which is why when you're holding one of these and you play a card that costs more, it's gonna upgrade. For example, this is a five mana, four, four with rush, but play a six or more cost card and boom, it's corrupted. It becomes a five mana 8-8 eight eight with rush. And that's pretty special. Special? It's got tentacles. Oh Dave, that's called a trunk. Oh, five of them? Yeah. Can you promise good old fashioned family fun? Fun for everyone. Look at these silver hand recruits having a day at the fair. Summoning three one ones is nice, but wait until this has become corrupted and it's a three mana stand against darkness. Wait, 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 wait a second. Uh, John, look, look at the art on the card there. They're screaming. Yeah, they're all like, wee! 
The corrupt mechanic adds a new layer of depth to Hearthstone. Do you play these cards on curve, or do you wait to unleash them at their full corrupted power? And that's family fun. I'm beginning to think there's something fishy going on at this fair. Look at the dunk tent. Four mana, deal four, but when it's corrupted, deal an additional two to all enemy minions? Oh, that's nothing, Dave. Just wait until you see the best attraction of all, the wheel of yogg -Saron. Yog saron Master of Fate. Okay, okay, wait, all right, wait. That is literally an old god. He's young at heart, and if you cast 10 spells, you get to spin the wheel and win a prize. Fill your board with minions, cast random spells, destroy all minions on the board and gain their stats. It's a cavalcade of fun. John, you're up. Your, your wheel of fun there has a skull on it. And if he still had lips, he'd be smiling, Dave. Why? What, what, why? what happens if the wheel lands there? Cast Pyroblast randomly until someone wins. Okay, all right, that is horrifying. But, okay, it sounds kind of fun, so I'm gonna give you that. But that's it though, right? So there's, there's a little bit of corruption and, and one old god, that's all, right? Just one. Just one. Just one. Just one. Just wonderful that we have all four old gods. What? And we're gonna show them right now. Each old god drives a different deck archetype. For example, if you like combo decks and drawing lots of cards, here's Cthulhu, the Shattered. Start of game, break into pieces? Yeah, each piece is a five mana spell with a unique effect. Play all four and you're gonna assemble Cthulhu somewhere in your deck. Once you've drawn and played him, you'll unleash 30 damage split among enemies. That's madness! At the Dark Moon Fair, yeah! And here to make a big splash is Nazoth, God of the Deep. Great fun if you have a deck with all sorts of different minions. And, you know, if they're dead. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, you know, we were talking about good old family fun, but all I'm seeing is like old gods and corruption. If you love corruption, you'll love Yasharaj, the Defiler. Now this minion, it rewards you for playing all the new corrupt cards by refilling your hand and allowing you to immediately play another one. This is madness! At, At the, the dark. dark Moon Fair. Yeah, yeah, I get that. But I, I, couldn't, we have something, couldn't we have something like nice and small and, and like fluffy? Oh, like a little critter? Yeah, like a little one-one. Like you couldn't hurt anybody. Oh, Dave, I've got a minion for you. The Dark Moon Rabbit. Oh, look at the little bunny. One-one, rush, poisonous, also damages the minion next to whomever it attacks. Oh, oh my. Yeah. But that's... Yep. That's... Uh-huh. 